You can breathe a sigh of relief. Facebook is up and running after a nearly six hour blackout yesterday. The company says some of its network equipment was improperly configured. That kept Facebook, Instagram, Messenger and WhatsApp down for most of yesterday afternoon. This outage did not just affect people's ability to mindlessly scroll in their downtime. It also had an impact on businesses and there are some theories beyond it being a technical glitch revolving around the timing of the outage. New Center Maine's Carly Dion explains. Yeah, it kind of ruined my day. A six hour Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp outage causing a headache for more than just your average social media user. University of Maine student Dylan Ursino says he first noticed the issue on Instagram. I went on Facebook to go on Facebook market and it was down as well. And I was, I was a little rattled about it originally. Ursino says he uses Facebook marketplace all the time. I buy and sell anything honestly. Certainly had an impact on both everyday users who were looking for their Instagram fix and other people um, who had more professional interests as well. Dr. Amelia kucher Bew is a professor of media studies at the University of Maine. She says many employers actually rely on WhatsApp to do business. For example, the outage forcing the city of Saco to stream its city council meeting on its YouTube channel instead of Facebook. So the timing is interesting. kucher Bew says there are some theories relating the outage to the CBS 60 Minutes interview with a Facebook whistleblower. Francis Haugen outing the social media giant for choosing its own interests to make money over the greater good of the public it serves. A lot of these internal reports seem to really mirror the findings that I'm seeing in my own research. Her own research relating to the effect media exposure has on women's body image and feelings of empowerment. The key connection between her research and the whistleblower's revelation. Young women have more body image issues or disordered eating potentially. They relate that back to Instagram. But kucher Bu says they have yet to see any evidence proving the outage was related to the interview. She says instead of relying on these platforms to regulate their content that could be seen as potentially harmful, users are better off. Thinking about what it is that we're putting out there and again what we're taking in um, would be a good strategy to have some personal agency and control. And consuming social media in smaller doses. Keeping in mind these platforms are often a highlight reel but not real. Carly Dion, New Center, Maine.